Okay, let's talk about the Accuplacer test. And there's actually three exams. There's not just one Accuplacer. And uh, the Accuplacer is a math placement exam. So we're going to be talking about uh, the more specific details on each of these Accuplacer tests. And uh, more importantly, how you prepare uh, so you can place very well into your college uh, courses, okay, when it comes to mathematics. So uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And uh, of course, if you're at the, um, any level, which if you're uh, interested in Accuplacer, you're at probably the high school level or you're an adult going back to school. But again, if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, and you're taking a particular math course, so even after the Accuplacer, I have all sorts of courses, uh, course programs that can help you out. Of course, if you're preparing for a test like the Accuplacer, I have actual test prep courses. I'm going to leave uh, links to my um, Accuplacer test prep courses. There's going to be three of them uh, in the description of this video. And of course, if you homeschool, you may want to check out my courses. And I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, the Accuplacer. But before we um, really get into the details about the Accuplacer, let's make sure we understand what the Accuplacer is and is not, okay? So uh, a test like the SAT or ACT, this is a college entrance exam, okay? This is a test that a, a university may require or a college or university may require for them to uh, you know, determine whether they're going to accept you, okay, whether you're going to get admitted into a particular college. So that's not to, uh, to be confused with tests like the Accuplacer. This is a placement exam. So you should ho uh, hopefully already been accepted to your particular college or university, and now they're trying to determine what is the best level math course for you, okay? So in order for them to make that determination, uh, they're going to use a test like the Accuplacer, which is very, very, very popular. Uh, there's other tests out there, very, um, math placement tests like the Alex. So I would say between these two um, tests, um, and of course, the Accuplacer is just three uh, uh, subtests, but then you have the uh, Alex math placement test. These two right here are probably the most common uh, math placement tests used by you know, students at all sorts of colleges and universities, millions of people a year uh, take these tests. Now, uh, you may end up taking another type of test at a particular college or university. So whatever it is, you know, just follow um, the guidance you're getting from your particular college or university. Now, if you think you already um, qualify to get into a particular math course that you feel like you want to be in in your, say, freshman year, well, you may want to um, look at your GPA and your kind of college trans uh, transcripts. If you already took a lot of advanced math courses uh, and you also took the SAT or ACT, go back and speak to your uh, the people at your college or university because if you have good grades and maybe high SAT or ACT scores, this right here could be enough for them to just go ahead and place you, i.e. you don't have to take a math placement exam. But every college and university is going to be different in terms of how they place you. Okay, So again, you may or may, not, may or may not have to take a placement exam, but it's probably more common than not that you are going to have to take some sort of placement exam, and that's what the Accuplacer is. Okay, so... Now, uh, one other comment about the Accuplacer and Alex or another exam, I don't know if uh, your particular college gives you an option between the Alex or Accuplacer. So that's something you might want to look into. But again, it, these are going to be um, tests. They're going to evaluate how much uh, math you currently know. Uh, and it's really, really important that you do as well as you can on the Accuplacer or any math placement test because this um, right here is going to determine how much time and money you could possibly save. Now imagine you already, um, you know, took pre-calculus or did really well in some pretty advanced math courses um, in high school. Uh, imagine you end up in a basic math course. Well, that's like maybe beneath your uh, particular uh, skills and you already took all that material, so you're going to end up wasting the semester or maybe even a year taking a course because you didn't really place, you know, well enough into that course. So again, 
Every college or university is going to be different about that, but you want to place as high as you possibly can. Okay, this is going to save you, um, you know, taking courses that you do not have to take, and that's going to translate into you saving um, uh, time and money. Now, one thing about the Accuplacer, you, uh, I, I don't know exactly how many years ago. I don't know if it's about maybe five, ten years ago. Uh, there, you, this exam has been around for a long time, but they went to a what we call a next generation Accuplacer test. So um, basically, let's talk about the three different uh, tests now. So there is an arithmetic, uh, a QAS, and then the AAF. Okay, so the arithmetic is the most basic level math course okay, or math placement course. So if you're coming into uh, college without too much of a um, strong background in mathematics, you're probably going to have to take this Accuplacer, and that's just going to get you in the door in terms of basic college math class. Okay, so let's talk about the next level. That's the QAS. That is the Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics, and you can kind of think of that as a mid-level Accuplacer uh, test. Okay, so if you have a pretty good background you uh, in mathematics, you might end up taking the uh, QAS, and then that leaves us with the AAF, and that is the Advanced Algebra and Function. So the AAF, um, being it, it is advanced, is going to be the most um, uh, involved or um, more the most quote-unquote advanced Accuplacer exam out there. So if you're wanting to uh, place into a pretty advanced math course, you're going to probably have to get through this. Um, again, I'm not sure exactly how uh, colleges determine uh, what Accuplacer uh, level you're going to be taking. So these are good questions for you to ask based upon your interest, you know, whatever degree you're going for, etc. So, um, and these tests are radically uh, kind of different. Okay, the uh, arithmetic test is real basic uh, number operation type stuff, where advanced algebra. Um, uh, advanced algebra and functions, you know, you can have pretty advanced trigonometry and things like that. So these are, you know, quite different from one another. And if you don't have the math skills, you know, for the AAF, don't, you know, uh, uh, you know, don't sign up for it. Okay. I guess what I'm trying to say. So B, you know, talking to your college and get, you know, uh, the specific information you need for whatever degree program you're getting into. But if you, let's say you're coming um, going back to college after several years of math, unless you've proven or shown that you know you've taken some, you know, a course like college algebra, uh, you're probably going to end up starting here with the uh, um, arithmetic level, and, and that's okay. Okay, uh, again, it's a placement test. You don't want to um, get lucky and place into a math course that is going to be too difficult for you. Uh, but I would say for the biggest risk for most students is placing into a course. Uh, that's beneath them, okay, just because they didn't kind of study. So, again, uh, the act placer is going to be super important uh, for you. Now, let's talk about how to prepare for the act placer. Well, just because you, um, you know, took courses like algebra, geometry, algebra 2, you know, maybe even pre-calculus in high school, that doesn't mean that all this material is going to be fresh in your mind because there's going to be all sorts of information here that you probably haven't seen in a couple of years. So you're going to want to spend some time doing some actual review. Okay. So I'm going to uh, suggest uh, a couple of um, ideas here, right? The number one thing is uh, there are some books out there, some study guides and whatnot, and those are good. I would suggest like practice exams and things. Those are definitely good. But what's even going to be more important uh, uh, to you is actually doing math practice problems, doing a ton of algebra problems, geometry problems, solving various equations, you know, interpreting graphs, you know. You're going to have to go back and just kind of just review on your own, take the initiative and do all that stuff that you think that you kind of remember. I can almost guarantee you, you don't remember uh, the math that you took, you know, maybe a year or two ago as, uh, as well as you think, okay? Even... Let's think about it. Like if you have to take a final exam, you know, chapters that you took a couple, two, three months ago, you're going to have to go back and review just to remember that. So imagine course math courses that you took two or three years ago, not two or three months ago. So you're going to have to do a lot of practice. And you, again, you can get like supplemental books, uh, practice, uh, practice exams, etc. You're going to want to know 
um, you know, the format and uh, be comfortable with that. But if you don't practice a lot, okay, and this is going to take time, then you're going to be, um, you know, doing yourself a major disservice, right? You, you just can't read a book and be like, okay, I remember all this stuff. Again, if you do that, you might do okay on AccuPlacer, but you could very well could place you know, into a course that's kind of, uh, you know, not as, uh, you know, at the right level for you. And again, you're going to be wasting time and money. But the third thing that I'm going to suggest is maybe use a program like my uh, course. So there's all sorts of test uh, prep courses out there uh, for the AccuPlacer. Mine's really, really comprehensive, super, um, you know, thorough. So I go over all of, let's say, for example, in my advanced algebra and functions course, I believe that uh, course right there is like 25 chapters, a huge amount, a massive amount of uh, mathematics that's going to cover the whole spectrum there. There's no way you can possibly start that course and finish all that course. That's not the intention of my programs because you should already know a lot of that math. Uh, but if you don't know, if you completely forgot, um, you know, like the quadratic equation and things, you can go back and watch full comprehensive lessons and do a ton of practice problems and see all sorts of problems uh, solved. So, you know, finding a good, very good online, like comprehensive test prep course that has a lot of great video instruction can be very beneficial to you. So that's what um, I offer. Of course, I'm going to put uh, links to my three AccuPlacer um, courses in the description of this video. But here's the thing. Uh, as soon as you know um, that uh, you have to take the AccuPlacer, you know, start studying for it. Okay. This is a busy time in your life. You know, if you're going into college, especially if you're leaving high school, going into college, or maybe you're returning to school, you know, after, you know, being an adult in the workforce for many years, that's this transition's busy. Okay. So, you know, do the extra effort now so you can place in and get on that right track, especially in mathematics. Okay. This is really, really important stuff. And if you do this right, you'll definitely save time and money. But uh, hopefully this video has given you some uh, good general knowledge, maybe a little bit more than what you maybe thought you already knew about the AccuPlacer and some guidance on how to prepare for each of these AccuPlacer exams. So again, I'm going to leave uh, the links to my um, three AccuPlacer math courses. If you don't know which one to take, you know, you could take a look at each of them and maybe... Um, Try to identify what you know and don't know and maybe pick the right level uh, for you. I would say uh, this is just um, I'm just kind of throwing it out there. If you don't know which level to take, maybe uh, take a look at that QAS level uh, if you um, are pretty strong with basic level mathematics. But uh, again, your college should be telling you uh, which AccuPlacer you will be taking. Maybe some of you have to actually take each of these uh, tests. So you know, um, again, uh, make sure you find out whatever you need to find out from your college. Okay, so if this video helps you in some small, tiny way, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I have a ton of videos on my channel that can help you with each one of these AccuPlacers. I have uh, videos on basic math to advanced math, like calculus, and everything in between. So please take advantage of those videos. But my best math help will always be the Done My Math Help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best uh, going to college, and hopefully you're going to ace the AccuPlacer or whatever the placement test you have to take. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.